How are you today, everybody? This is Wyatt, uh, owner and operator of MG Construction. And today I wanted to do a video just because it's, you know, it's not really out there in the resources, the video resources and stuff. Pretty much the process of actually uh, getting your studio shed done. So all the extra foundation work, electrical stuff, you know, is um, separate from your studio shed installation cost. And I just pretty much want to go over the steps, process, um, you know, and things you have to think of um, when uh, getting a studio shed that some clients don't think about. Um, of course, that's my job is to bring it up to them so that they do think about it. But we're going to go through all the little elements and all that stuff uh, that you got to think about when you're getting a studio shed. Uh, so we're going to go through my current job right now, uh, doing an installation in Sausalito, California, and you guys can kind of see everything. So first things first is foundation. Um, studio sheds can't be built on a wooden foundation or a pure foundation or something, but if you're going to go the concrete slab, which 90% uh, of clients do, um, this is the detail that your slab will be. So this is a 10 by 12, 12 foot wide by 10 foot um, deep, and we have a 12 inch by 12 inch grade beam all the way around the perimeter. And this is because we're going to be using half inch Titan bolts and some hold downs um, and stuff for structural support uh, in the studio shed. And so you will have this grade beam all around. Of course, we had some rock fall in here. This will be all cleaned out uh, day of the pour. But this is what your studio shed foundation will look like. I have it all formed up here. As you can see, this is my high spot and that's my low spot. So I have a little bit of extra form work over there in that corner. Um, but everything is nice and level. Uh, we've checked it with the laser level and we've checked it with our plate level. So we know we're good. But this is what your foundation will end up looking like before the pour. And of course, this is going to get a rebar mat in it. But the way I do it is I pour my first layer of concrete, then I lay my mat in to make sure that I get enough depth, and then I lay my, uh, my second layer of concrete over. I just want to make sure that concrete is suspended uh, nice and evenly throughout the slab. Uh, so we don't have any structural problems. So the next next biggest concern is getting electrical to your studio shed. As you see, we've uh, had to trench out here for our electrical conduit, and we got to run it about 100 feet uh, over to the shed. So we got a nice trench here, then we're going to run it down the retaining wall up to the new shed. Uh, but this is the biggest thing: is making sure that you have enough breaker space uh, in your panel. Um, so that you can actually get a studio shed sub panel over there. It's 50 amp breaker using like six gauge uh, wire. You know, it's definitely a, a hefty part of the job. But you know, this is where you get into stuff. You're trenching for electrical and everything. Now we're talking about other elements. We have bluestone pavers here. We got to keep clean. Um, we got to go ahead and refill this trench and match the landscaping with it. Um, and that's where the details get involved that a lot of people don't think about is, you know, there's extra stuff on top of this stuff. Making sure everything looks nice, making sure that it looks as if we were never here when we are finally done with the job. Okay, we got the pump here, the truck here, and now we're going to pour the slab foundation. All right, we got our rough finish. I'm waiting for it to set up so I can get onto the boards here finish the middle but this will be the slab get it all nice and flat for the flooring and stuff and then after this is delivery day delivery day will be in about four days we have two days for this to cure uh, one day extra for the shipping guy uh, schedule and Tuesday it'll be here at 8 a.m. and we'll start throwing this shed up so we've started our delivery and we're bringing the panels into the work area. And we'll go check out the truck here. And this is the truck and trailer will come on. And we're just loading everything in stages, panels, keeping the interior stuff up, for, uh, up front. And then when we're ready for it, we can bring it up. Okay, it's about 11 o'clock. Delivery was at 9. And we already have our outer shell up. And then after this shell is all complete, roof will be next. Okay, this is the end of day one. 
got roof sheathing, felt on, and uh, all the shell built. We got our anchor bolts in there. You can see those. And then we have all the interior stuff in here. We got it all tarped off for the rain for the next few days. But that's one day of studio shed for us. Okay, this is day three. Uh, we're getting siding on. Got our first rows, our trim around our window. And so we're just gonna get this side and then wrap all the way around, get all this siding done today. And as I'm going up, I'm just double checking level. As you can see, we're nice and on. And every, you know, every other one or so, I'll, I'll double check that was level, but our board is level down starting. So it should be level all the way up. Uh, we have an inch and a quarter lap on the hardy lapping siding. Um, and then it tucks into our J channel here. But today we should have all the siding on. All right, this is the end of the third day. We got all our siding and uh, trim details done. Left side, right side, front and back. All trimmed out nice, looking good. And then we actually got to rough electrical today and so we have all of our light wire uh, all our light runs run all of our 12 2 run this is the um, the coil for when I, I mount the panel and then we'll send it through the panel uh, but we have all of our runs our exterior lights our interior lights separate light circuit there'll be two circuits for the outlets um, one for each side and the only thing I have to do is add an outdoor plug tomorrow and mount the panel. And then I'll go ahead and get everything wired together. Besides, obviously, the outlets and stuff, that'll come after paint and drywall. But we're moving along. We're into the interior. Tomorrow this will get insulated. And most likely we'll get rock on tomorrow. And uh, hopefully, if everything's going well, I'll get some mud on too. But cruising along, this is the third day. So, the third or fourth day you're of working days, you know, not, you know, weekends, stuff like that, time off from your contractor or your installer, but three working days, your studio shed should be about at this point. All right, this is day four. As we, as you know, we finished up the exterior yesterday and we ran all of our rough electrical. We actually got a little insulation in. And so we finished up this. Studio shed was a little bit short on insulation it happens once in a while so just you know plan to maybe pick up uh, you know a roll for yourself um, you know just a, you know just enough square footage for this um, to get that done every so often that happens not a big deal but everything run nail plating everything and today we should hang up sheetrock and then after rock we'll paint floor and put in all the uh, electrical uh, outlets, switches, etc. But day four. Okay, this is day five. Um, we're getting rock on. Got most of it rocked here. And I've got a little bit of my first skim coats and gap fills. Uh, but today we will tape and mud it. And then tomorrow, I'm going to have to put a space heater in here or something to get it to set overnight. But then tomorrow will come sand and paint. But I'm going to mud all this. Got some work to do, and then off to paint. Okay, this is day six. We are sanding our mud here. We got everything rocked and mudded yesterday on our day five. And so we'll sand, we're gonna floor, baseboard it up, and then uh, paint it today. So a little bit more sanding to do, and then we'll be on it. Okay, we got our flooring in, everything's sanded, flooring down, and now we're going to start running baseboard and our door trim. Around your windows, it's going to be flat finish um, all the way around to your windows, so just going to be a nice 90 degree angle, um, such as like this one, just around all your windows. And then, yeah, level three to four. Uh, flat tape rock is what is in the studio shed install um, and then if you want texturing or something different then that's extra 
that you can talk about with your installer. But about to get the paint. Okay, this is the end of day six. We have the flooring uh, covered right now for paint, but it's, uh, let me see if I can bring some up here. It's right there. So our flooring is in, baseboards in, door trim is in. All that, nice and painted, looking really good, huh? There's a few spots that I see, but everything's looking pretty flat. I wanna fix this a little bit. That's probably my only touch-up spot. Uh, maybe on Monday, but everything's looking pretty good. There's a few nail holes, maybe, but everything's looking really good, really flat. And uh, we're gonna let it dry, make sure everything comes out good. If we need to, we still have the sprayer here, do a little touch up if we need it. I think we should be okay. So that's the end of day six. We had to paint the roof on this one. This was an add on uh, because the neighbors were. Uh, complaining about the reflection. So we went ahead and painted that all nice and black today too. Let's check that out. So that's no longer reflective. And so the only thing left Monday, hook up all the interior electrical, finish the panel, and put in the door lock. And this thing will be done. We have an outdoor plug there, two outdoor lights, and then we have our interior outlets here. Um, also, one thing that they did add to in this was a coaxial cable uh, for internet connection for the cable guy. That was also an add-on, but you know, again, just talk to your installer and stuff. We're more than willing to do third-party stuff, help you guys out, and get it done. So, you got a nice power outlet there, cable there. And we will be back Monday for the seventh day of working days. Okay, you guys, this is day seven. After I painted, we've started getting outlets in and everything, getting all the electrical done. I did some drywall touch-up work. I just saw some spots I didn't like. Um, the client was okay with everything, so it's looking great. But like I pointed out before, you know, I just wanted to fix this, get that a little bit cleaner. Um, and then I saw some other things that were just flashing from the light and stuff like that. Um, you know, again, it was good enough, but... I want to do a good product and so that's what we did so we just did a little bit of touch up here some seams and stuff typical stuff nail holes stuff like that so we'll get that repainted get the touch up paint going you know we've got like a little corner there a little corner there stuff like that um, and yeah that's about it so we're gonna get all the electric in get the door in get the door uh, hardware in stuff like that and then pretty much be out of here today Okay, this is the final day of the shed. As you can see, we have our exterior lights on right now. All the electrical has been run, all the outlets are working. We have all our lights working, our dimmer's working, our window's operational. And so now, we are just going to do a good power washing, clean up the outside. And maybe if I see any little touch-up spots with paint, I'll do it right before I leave. But this is a completed 10 by 12 studio shed. I'll come around the outside. And the only thing I have left to do, which I'll do tomorrow, is I have to bury my electrical conduit. Uh, for, from our path, but that's all we got to do. Uh, our panel is in and Everything's looking really good 45 degree corners all of our J channel. It's looking good and So that is a completed shed in the books another one in the books Okay, and this is the final final is a big cleanup. Um, I do a little bit um, over the extent of what Studio Shed requires. They just require, you know, everything decently clean, all the building materials uh, that are left over cutoffs and stuff out. But there we go, all nice and clean, ready to go. I uh, I go ahead and power wash the buildings off, just with a light one, just to get all the dust off and stuff like that, and. 
just make it look a little bit better after construction. Um, you know, power stone or power washed all this because the bluestone drywall dust gets everywhere and stuff, no matter how much mitigation you do. So we just did a nice power wash, get all that off, and make it look like we were never here. <laughs>